I am more than happy with the Nano Long Range DIY Drone. It is an amazing little device and has definitely exceeded all my expectations. It flies for 15 to 20 minutes depending on the battery. And speaking of a battery, it's driven by a single 18650 cell, as seen here. The frame is 3D printed and can reach distances of a few kilometers. I've even added a few extra features to it, including a GPS module and return to home functionality in case I lose signal. However, there is one small problem. The DVR video quality is nothing to brag about. Sure, the drone can do amazing things, but I still want to see my flights in full-on, high-definition quality. In order to solve that problem, we're going to strap an Insta360 GO camera version 1 to this little drone. Will it fly? Let's find out. If you are interested in building your own drone, I have created a build guide. Um, the link is in the description below. The weather for this flight test was excellent, with some light breeze and wind, but it wasn't too bad. I did notice the weight uh, on my throttle when taking off. I was uh, up maybe around 50 to 60 percent uh, on the throttle at a cruising speed. The maneuverability, however, didn't seem too impeded by the weight of the camera. and. I felt rather flexible and agile still in movement. Here I saw someone walking into the area I was flying so I decided to take it up higher and have a look. When getting above the tree line I did notice quite a bit of wind was pushing the camera and I had to fight the wind a little bit. I felt comfortable flying at that altitude. I didn't want to take it out too far. Coming down I definitely felt the weight of the camera and flew in a curly cue fashion towards the ground to keep it from coming in too fast. When I designed this mount, there were a few things I had to keep in mind. One, it had to securely hold the Insta360 GO camera and the GPS module. Two, it had to be extremely light. Three, I wanted to avoid any camera wiggle or jello in the design to keep it from vibrating. Four, I wanted to offer the camera some protection in case of a crash. And lastly, I wanted to keep the props out of view of the camera. However, Dave C's dead cat style frame mainly solved that problem with the props by keeping them out to the side. You can download my files directly from Thingiverse and print the mount yourself. I've created three different versions. The first version is the one featured in this video of an Insta360 GO and GPS mount. The second version is a single Insta360 GO mount, and the third version is a single GPS mount. You can choose and print the option that best suits your situation. Here I was feeling more confident after getting a hang of how this little drone was going to fly with this camera on it. For this flight test, I went to the Friedensberg Monument. Um, this was built in 1929 as a memorial to the fallen soldiers of World War I. Unfortunately, it's been badly vandalized and is in a bad state of disrepair. This site is surrounded by a beautiful park, almost directly in the middle of town. 
Before being named the Friedensberg, or Mountain of Peace, it was known as Geigenberg, or Gallows Mountain, for the reason that up until the 18th century the site was used for executions where criminals were publicly hanged. The monument in the middle is inscribed with the following, Die Toten der Kriege Mann zum Frieden. This means, the dead of wars urge for peace. These are definitely words that should not be forgotten. That concludes my video. Thank you for watching.